All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. It has been three years and two months and eh, three years, one month, and I want to say like two weeks since I last played this game. And I've been itching to come back to it for about a year. It's it's one of my favorite games of all time. I don't talk about it that much, just because unfortunately, uh, unfortunately. It was the game that helped make my channel, and it almost choked it to death. And so, name this game. The Cursed Game Returns. There we go. Uh, mainly, effectively, people were only watching Scrap Mechanic on my channel, and I had to make sure that that was not a reality that I'd have to live through. I've seen enough Minecraft channels get starved out in the exact same manner. And so, I had to kind of eventually go to cold turkey one to keep my enthusiasm for this game alive so that when they actually added more cool things holy shit all right this cool this looks cool hopefully they add like an intro cutscene to this at some point my ship's on fire and i don't think i'm fixing it any too i'm soon can i get the no i can't get that i wonder if i ever get to remake this ship because like this shit looks actually really good uh but yeah eventually i just kind of had to go cold turkey and start working on other things I bet we actually do get to do something. There's stuff in there. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to beat this fence down. It offends me. No white picket fences. They look ugly. I like more of a natural wood, wood look. Now let's beat the snap out of this tree. Oh! <laughs> you actually can chop down trees! <laughs> I was just... I was expecting I'd just get, like, little wood bits. I didn't realize it had... Uh, procedural destruction, too. That, that's actually one of the coolest looking, um, like, chopping animations I've ever seen. Now, okay. Okay. So I can refine these into just basic wood blocks. I can also pick things up, but I don't know if I care to do that. Uh, you know what? Oh, I see. Huh. So I can actually... Interesting. So I'm effective... I'm effectively potato peeler. Wait, did my ship just disappear? Is it gone? Oh no, it's there. I just turned. <laughs> Shh. Alright, what do we get? We get a component kit. Yeah, okay, I should probably bust these up. I can... I can abuse trees as much as I want later. But we should probably get a move on. It looks like we do have a food meter. And a, uh... A drink meter. And so I need to probably obey those before I just go, uh, do horrible things to... Hi, there's actually a lot of stuff around here. I was expecting this to be just like a totally blank and bland world, but I am... I am wrong on that one. Oh, quick question. I've been listening to Pretzel, specifically, uh, the... This is Pretzel. Yeah, I've been listening to the Ambient Station. Let's actually listen to a little bit of Scrap Mechanics native music. I originally had it turned off forever because there was there was no music. Let's see, if I recall uh, survival as multiplayer right. Yeah, it does. There are no dedicated servers yet. I believe you just kind of host it on your own machine like the, uh, like the regular mode. Uh, at some point, I will probably consider and reach out to people uh, specifically to say like, hey, uh, we should do some multiplayer. But I think for now, at the very least, I I want to, I want to kind of experience this solo. Wow, this game is just quiet. Uh, let's turn the effects up. This game is actually kind of silent. That's better. Okay, do I see any more of these things? No. So what's up here? I'm just gonna I'm gonna wander off and look for goodies. Can I break this bucket? No, bucket is immortal. Fuck it. Alright. Anything else? I am... I'm actually really digging the visual design of a lot of these bits. It's very, uh... Gosh. Ratchet and Clank, maybe? I could go with... I could go with... More games that looked like this, honestly. Hello. Whoa! Hi! Oh! Shoot! It's one of the Noisemaker machines. It actually hit me. Well, on one hand... That was kind of unsettling to look at. It, 
and it is very unsettling to interact with, too. Damn. All right. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm going to deal with that for a little bit. I, I, I'm just... I'm just going to... Oh, did I heal? Oh, it's probably Minecraft healing, where it just drains your food. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Honestly, if it wasn't for uh, Scrap Survival Mode, I actually would have played Minecraft today. Uh, I've been itching to play a survival game for, like, forever. But I haven't really had the uh, wherewithal to, like, really pick one. So it was, like, Raft, Minecraft, Rad Pack, and then, like, a koala from on high, drop bearing down uh, with beautiful news. Uh, one of the Axolot, uh, like, the PR guy effectively just reached out and was like, Hey! Uh, well, no, I... I guess, actually, I, I saw, uh, my buddy John Bain playing this, and he was like, I'm playing survival mode, and I'm like, holy shit, it's available, so I sent, uh, I sent my, my Axolot PR, uh, contact a message, and he was like, oh yeah, I was about to send you this, and so he dropped the, uh, the beta key for me. Now, it looks like I can run endlessly, there's no stamina meter. It might cost more food, but that's a... That's the price I'm willing to pay. So let's let's keep wandering around for a little bit. I'm not starving yet. And it looks like I've got... There's a difference between seeds and otherwise. So let's... Let's just drink some soda. Holy shit, how... How much stuff is there? Oh, I'm down with this. The gameplay looks good. Yeah, we might want to hold off, though. I see loot. But we might want to get... A bit of a basic base going first. Because, yeah, they actually hurt pretty bad. Okay, where is a good spot? Because, unfortunately, I see a lot of... I see a lot of dudes just kind of wandering around in here. And that worries me considerably. Because I don't want to put my base up in a position where... What the hell? What? Uh, that's both actually a really kind of cute cow. On the other hand, brain utter... Okay. That's... I don't want... I, I'm not... I'm not going to interact with the, that thing. I'm just milk the brain juice. Gosh. No. I will... I will just... I... Ah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave and pretend I didn't see that thing and try and just like... Oh, here. Cool. This looks maybe promising. Can I get rock out of this? Stone is too big for your sledgehammer. Damn it. Ow! Ah! 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 <laughs> Okay, I found the ocean. Can they follow me? Ooh. Wait, shit, there's water now. Okay, they cannot follow me. I'm safe. Oh, I like this. I like this. I think this is an island. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to build my base on what seems to be an ex uh, a secluded island with a tree. Like, this, this might actually be kind of perfect for me. Let's see. Water is fine until you meet the water monster. Are there any? I don't see anything moving around in here, but there does seem to be potentially, like, oil lurking. So that's good. And yeah, looks like none of the bots should be able to follow over here. I don't usually play survival games, but I'm tempted. I... When I heard they were originally caving to all the demands to make a survival mode, I honestly said it was... What the... The water is fake? It does not exist? I am... I could actually just build my base down here. <laughs> but that would be a really stupid idea, so let's not do that. Oh, this looks perfect. Look at this. So I'll leave the uber tree, but I think I'm going to deforest everything else. Unless everything else doesn't exist. But yeah, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of all these trees for a bit. Because, yeah, if the, uh, 
if the rogue bots will come after me and attack me if I'm, uh, you know, on the mainland, a little island base does not seem like a bad idea. A better survival mode than a battle royale mode. I will agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was I was a little skeptical, mainly just because I felt like uh, Scrap Mechanic's strength was the amount of, like, parts it had available and a bunch of other things. And so I was kind of meh on the idea of a survival mode just because it just didn't seem like it really fit the game. I was wrong. I'll admit that. I was a dumb bunny and wrong. Like, this is already probably one of the best starts I've ever seen to a survival game. Also, the, there is no music for this game. That is the one persistent complaint. Luckily, I have easy solution. Damn it. Alright, whatever. I have easy solutions. I'm going to turn the music right back off. And we're going to turn on our ambient music once again. Okay. So, yeah. Let's, let's just uh, refine all of this down. And I'm going to have a lot of wooden blocks. Damn it. Oh, good. It actually saved my progress. I, like, scooted forward just a little bit. Uh, let's see, can you put it into third person? How do you... Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see, can I... There's there's some way that you can turn it around. I forget. One way or another, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a third person mode. There is character customization. Uh, I guess I did that before I got started, but you can change your beards, you can change your gender, you can change your hair color, some other things. Uh, it honestly looks quite nice. Hopefully they add a lot more stuff. Personally, I'm hoping that I can actually get uh, some new clothes because I look like I was just uh, torched and roasted a bit, and that's... This would be bad. I think I need to put down a seat before I can actually see what I look like, which is a tragedy. Hopefully I can get some better tools than this. This is really slow. So how does this fit in with creative? Have they redone it as well? I know they've changed... Oh, is it... No, F5 is Minecraft. I don't actually remember if you could ever turn... Turn your camera around conventionally. Uh, but no. I might... I might take a quick peek at... Creative mode in a little while. But honestly, I'm here for survival, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see, why do you look like a hobo minus the scruffy beard? I mean, I have a scruffy beard. Let's see what I can do. So, tools, blocks, parts, consumable mod parts. Okay. So, let's... Jeez, ah, how do we even do this? How do we even play? What is this? What are you? I don't know, I'm gonna zoom back in. Okay, so I can pick that back up. So, how do I build... I guess let's take a look at the controls. Create, attack, use, upgrade is you. Logbook, bump the mic, uh, force build, some other things, hotbar items. Okay, so let's take a look at logbook. Let's, nope, logbook doesn't do anything. Next rotation, we could take a look at upgrade. Oh, hi, okay. Tools, blocks, parts? No. Interactive. We have a bearing. Consumable mod parts. What is this then? Use to upgrade interactive parts and unlock bots in the mechanic station. Okay, so clearly I've missed something. I guess let's put the lift down. Let's see what the lift does. Nope. Lift goes up and down, so I can't do anything with that. Tab H. H for help. Hey, how to play. So I already know how to build a vehicle. Bearing, lift, connect a tool. I know about this stuff. Uh, it looks like they have not updated this since Survival came out. Let's see, parts. So it looks like I might actually have to go wander around and find some things. It looks like that's normal. So here's the question. I don't think I can just make a chest. Oh, interesting. C and V zoom in and out as well. I'm just going to start pressing random buttons. See if I can... What is that? Oh, interesting. So if you want to just drop a carrot on the ground, it's just F. 
Makes sense. B for backpack, also tab. Okay. So we got scrap metal blocks, we got bearings. So I guess the real answer is I have to get brave. I was going to start, uh, try and just make like a rudimentary base, but it looks like that's not the case. Am I? Oh, I am actually just running along the uh, top of the water. <laughs> What's it look like? Is there a swimming animation? Oh, there is. I mean, it's also rudimentary, but that's okay. All right. Well, yeah, let's just run along the top of the water, which looks really good. I wonder if they had the raft people advise them on how to water. Probably not. They've already... They're clearly competent developers, so maybe not that big of a deal. Okay. So I'm going to check this place out. I guess we're just going to start... Oh, they did. Hey! Yeah, Raft, Raft remains probably my favorite survival game. Survival sandbox game, just because of the simplicity of it. I would love to go back and play that game at some point. Let's see, drop my stuff. I don't know if stuff despawns on my backpack's pretty big. Oh, I can break that. Okay, whoop. Okay, we've got a pitchfork bot. There we go. Okay, pitchfork bot is spooky as shit. Most of the bots are honestly kind of... Uh, they're kind of unsettling to behold. Okay, can I bust you up? anything in here. No. Well, looks like we just want the loot boxes. I'll get what I, I'll take what I can get. So we get another component kit. Tomato, gasoline, and sunshake. So it does look like I'm getting enough raw resources here. I just have to figure out how to actually craft things, which I bet we got to go back to my ship. Let's see, is there a flashlight? I haven't found a, uh, I haven't found a flashlight personally. Maybe there is one. Okay. So yeah, let's let's go find my my messed up ship. Whoa. Wow. As if on command. Let's just wander around for a little bit. It looks like a lot of these structures actually do have goodies. Oh. I'm actually... Am I actually picking these up? Oh, yeah. Flower specimens. Okay. Sunshake. Another bearing. All right. Does look like we've got a l couple of bad gooners. That just kind of exist in this immediate area. Uh, okay. Crash ship's over here. Yeah, the boxes are hard to hard to miss. I appreciate that. Okay, but yeah, let's let's go check out Crash Ship. See if I can find any any useful information on how to I'm how to actually play, how to build things, because I saw some base instructions on how to do stuff, but they're on the other side of the fire, so I kind of gave up. Gave up. All right, not that. Requires a master battery. Hmm. All right. So the answer is fire burns, but we kind of knew that. Don't think it, think I see anything on the front. Okay, so this was less elucidating than I was hoping it would be. Well, I guess time to just go be a weird pack rat random dude up until we find out what we're actually supposed to do. Uh, let's wait on that. Let's see. Aha! Yeah, because we're getting a lot of seeds, so clearly I'm going to have to start farming sooner than later. Let's see. There's a switch inside the fire. Uh, 
Well, there was something that required the battery. Like, I'm pretty sure we need the master battery before I can actually do anything. Because you mean that big thing right there. Well, there's the duck. Alright, fine. Ow. It's a light. Thank you. There was a light there. I've interacted with it. That was pointless. Okay. I have a microwave. I have a radio. Mechanic of the month. Ooh, sexy. All right, can I just lay down for a little while? Oh, cool. So it fast heals me in my burning ship. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. Let's see. Yeah, I see fuel there, but I think what we want to do is actually get a... Uh, we got to get a bucket before I do too much with that. Let's... Let's just ignore... Whatever it is, I don't know. Okay. Bat. Snap it. Okay, so let's... Let's see, there was that, like, kind of skyscraper-y looking thing. I, I'm just gonna raid whatever we have available, and eventually I'll sit down and actually start crafting. Let's see, could you take the flashlight? No, that's also not a flashlight, that was a headlight? Minor difference, headlight considerably less useful for what I'm doing. Alright. Uh, did I... Yeah, I did check this thing out. But yeah, let's let's just... The raid as much as we, we possibly can, and then I'll sit down and figure out everything. I mean, I've got a decent amount of food. Because I can also eat the tomatoes. That's a big looking thing that I can mess up. Okay, there we go. They're not actually so tough, which is good. All right. Ah! Shoot, I need that spear for myself. Let's see, can you get armor? I probably. Ooh. Ooh, those guys hurt. All right, can I go up? I can go up. I'm not sure if I want to go up, but I, I should go up at the very least. I don't know if you can get armor. I know you can get better tools. I'm assuming what I need to do is actually beeline for a gun. Hmm. I'd actually have to build my way up. Peel that robo arm. Makes sense. I mean, it's a laser peeler. It, it makes sense. Let's see, so what has changed in the game? It's been a long time. Looks like a lot of the base mechanics are still kind of the same. Uh, though, I can't just put things down. Well, I mean, I can just put things down. Uh, Okay. This is always the spookiest, because this does not have Minecraft crouch crab walking. You just kind of scoot and you can totally fall. Oh yeah, I could use my lift for this. You know, I'm just so used to the lift not existing that I forgot it existed. Most other games don't have a lift, so, you know. Alright. I swear I saw more sparkly things up in this. 
I mean, I can't bust this stuff down, so I guess we'll just grab what scrap metal we have. And go from there. So wonder now how to play the game. I know the basics. My main thing is just trying to figure out how to actually build anything of any consequence. Uh, cause, yeah, sure, I can make, like, a wooden cube and call it a house. Whoop. That didn't look comfortable. <laughs> Alright. Now, knowing Scrap Mechanic, it has some serious issues with, uh... With structures... Like, just sitting around loose in the world. So I should probably stay relatively tidy. So yeah, there is there is falling damage, and it hurts. It doesn't hurt as much as I was expecting it would, but it hurts. Okay. So yeah, let's remember to use the lift here, because I can actually use this for scouting. I'm just figuring out if there's anything useful. There's another big complex over there, and there's a really big complex over there. Now, the real question is, how do we, uh, how do we start farming? How do we build anything useful? Let's see. Because I see more bots around here. found anything particularly useful either. Or maybe there's blueprints. Yeah, that would make sense. Hmm. Yep. Well, that didn't work. Alright, I've made friends. Oh, shit. Okay. I've discovered their base weakness, which is circle strafing, which is pretty much everything's base weakness in these games. You'd actually die from falling from the skybox now, huh? Oh yeah. No, we are we are not building a sky base until the very, very end. And even then, I'd probably make a functional elevator instead to get up there, and instead of trying to float a whole freaking base up. Back in the day, yeah, I could just float a thing up there, and I'd, it wouldn't matter to me in the slightest if I got... If I fell down. Well, no. It mattered. It was a pain in the ass. Oh, let's see. Wasn't there a battery in the other building where you first encountered a bot? There was a battery there, but I couldn't interact with it. And also, considering my ship's on fire, I don't think... Um, I don't think the battery would actually help me right now. Maybe it would, but I think I have to figure out how to put out those fires first. Do you think you can still build on the skybox? I don't know, but that will that is an immediate goal. Not like it needs to be done today, but like we should put together a a small list of things that I need to do over the course of this uh this playthrough that I used to do, but now I really need to do again. All right, let's see if I can go See like a ramp up, so I guess I'm guess I'm just doing this myself. Build a walker. That's building walkers is impossible. Let's be honest here. Like I I have made an honest attempt to do that many a time. And it is not great. I'm sure there are better mechanics than I that can do so, but, uh, oh boy. Trying to program those things it just was awful. I need to get Darth Slugula again. Oh gosh. I don't know. Trying to drive Darth Slugula around in this situation? Ugh. Okay, so what else we got? We got goodies. How do I... I think I was supposed to right-click to pick those up, in retrospect, but whatever. <laughs> yep, was supposed to. Luckily, it seems like there's a stupid amount of oil sitting around outside, so... 
I'm not too worried. Okay, so let's take a look around. I don't see too much. Oh, there's a road. Well, do we follow the road? We should probably follow the road. I don't think there's anything on the other side of that, nor can I really break. Okay. So that's pointless. We've got this guy. You know what? I'm going to give them a bit of a wide berth. Mainly just because they're kind of a pain. If they're defending something like one of these, I'll go for it. It's like this guy is stuck. Okay, so let's let's follow the road. We've still got like one more big building that I could potentially check, but I'm gonna start I'm gonna start starving if I'm not careful. Wait, is that Uber Corn? Well, one way or another, I have to I have to do this. It's a requirement. No white picket fences on this island. They look like garbage. Oh shit! But I want the Uber Corn. Where are you going, Fork Man? Okay. Now he's discovered. Now he's discovered how to fight me, but that's okay. Alright. This looks like Ubercorn, yeah? Ubercorn. Hell yeah. Okay, wait. Pick up more corn. So, it looks like I can harvest these for rudimentary food, at least for now. I really feel like there'd be an easier way to harvest all this, but whatever. Okay. And let's just wander off into the wilderness yet again. I don't know how big this uh, this island is, and I kind of want to figure that out sooner than later. Holy shit, is that a second island? Huh. Interesting. I wonder... Because... So far, what I'm seeing is this island is maybe kind of small. Uh, it might not actually be. It might be a separate thing. I'm, I'm curious how big the world is. Because what I'm used to is, and what is here is going to be completely different. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're good. Let's see. Anything else? No. All right. Onwards. Okay, this looks promising. There's kind of a a ramshackle something town. Can I break these? Oh, I can just pick them up. Oh. Yeah, so we have shack half walls. Okay, so I can raid these places. Oops. Okay, do not break those. Need them. That looks useful. Some of this is probably a lot more useful than others. Sail. Oh. Oh, they added chain link. So this is a, a shop. I don't think I'm actually breaking those. Hard to say. Right, I'm going to grab those. Grab that. So what are these? Old fruit stands. Damn it. Yeah, so it doesn't look like a lot of these... Oh, there are buoyancy statistics. That's interesting. I was kind of hoping I could use the old fruit stands as a... How about a drink? Ugh. Grab the mattress. It looks scrabbage, but I'll grab it. Anything up here? Fresh. Can I actually use this? Now it looks like it's it's totally busted. Okay, what else we got here? Hard work pays off. A lot of seeds. And a decent amount of loot. Like eventually we're gonna figure out how to how to build a the ability to farm. And then everything's gonna get mad easy. Well, maybe not mad easy, but still. It's gonna get easier. 
But right now, I'm just, I'm Pack Rat Supreme. Nothing else matters. So, it does look like there are either alternate land masses out there. Oh, they're breaking the fences. Or, oh, the robot's trying to kill the cow. Eh. That feels like karmic justice more than anything else. Alright, easy way in here? No. So, let's just pop that off. Nope. Alright, so we get some soil. I wonder if I just make grow beds on my own. Oh, this is how I would have entered. Oh, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, it does look like there's some level of other land masses. God, I'd love it if you could actually sail from island to island and there's like a much bigger world to work with. Okay, so we need to figure out how to actually do anything. Because I've got scrap metal blocks, I've got net blocks, I've got a bunch of random parts, I have a toilet. Like, this is important. But the question is, what do I do with anything else? And how do I make progress? Do you have toilet paper? I mean... No, I'm a gross... I'm a gross creature. I do have toilet paper. One roll. That's all I need. As far as I know, it's literally endless. So... 